Welcome. I'm Esty, and this is my husband, Mort. Yes, welcome. Well, for right now, all your needs are taken care of, so sit, relax, have something to eat. Uh, and this is our wonderful house band. This, uh, 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 excuse me. Thank you. A little later. You know, I was just making a bet with them. Uh, I bet them that they couldn't play and capture the entire history of rock and roll in 30 seconds. Piece of cake. But I get to call out the decade, so you'll have to jump around. Bring it on. There may be a point to this somewhere. 70s. How do we do? Not bad, not bad at all. So? No, what were you doing? We just... That was about rebellion. Oh, rebellion. Yeah. Rock and, and roll, it was the music of rebellion. I see, well, so is jazz. Yeah. yeah. No, wait a minute, we could even go back further to the music of um, Gustav Mahler or Stravinsky. I mean, they caused riots. You know, about 1970, when there was more than the unbelievable musical rebellion splitting up the generations, there was also a deeper spiritual rebellion. Don't know why I'm here today. Revolution, revolution. I just know what I want to say. Revolution, revolution. You can try. Nowhere did it hit any harder than at the Cleveland apartment of Benjamin Metzger and his 19-year-old son, Alex. Alex! Alex! It's time to light the Shabbat candles.
I'm polite. So light. I can't hear myself. All right, we'll turn it down. Here, was that better? You're not going to join me? Light for your mother, a blessed memory. How can I do what I don't believe in? Sometimes we do things as if. Take the action as if we still believe. Is that what you do? You act as if you're a religious Jew? Please turn the music off. We don't play music on Shabbat, as you well know. That's if I was acting as if still, and you didn't answer my question. Yeah, what was it? I asked if you believe in the God of the Bible and Torah, or do you just act as if? I'm doing what your grandparents did what their grandparents did, on and on, for over 3,000 years. Slavery has been around that long, too. Is that, a, is that a tradition to carry on? I'm going to light. And turn that stereo off completely. As long as you live here, that is not a suggestion. Kodesh. By the way, as for the whole me living here stuff, I'm going away. Going away? Gosh, Alex, why are you going away? In fact, where the heck are you going? Well, data mine, I'm traveling to India. There are holy men and women dwelling there that are living and breathing, where real miracles happen every day, not just dead words on a page. Words that you learned and lived by your whole life. Exactly. You were top of the class at Yeshiva, top of the class. I did it for you, Dad. Don't you get it? No. No, I don't get it. Religion turned to ashes in my mouth years ago. I never felt one blinding light. No joy. No feeling of being plugged into the holy universe. No, no ecstasy, no magic. Just the opposite. The rabbis, they sucked it all dry as a bone. I sat there for years wondering what all this had to do with the universal being of my understanding. The answer has been loud and clear. I couldn't wait to get out of there. And the truth is, I can't stand your as-if game anymore. After what you lived through, watching your God allow our family and the six million others be taken to the slaughterhouses all in the name of, of being Jewish, and still having you sit there like this, worrying that I play my stereo. <laughs> How do you do it? Why do you do it? Because I can. Well, I can't. I have to do something for myself now. I'm giving my notice. I'm turning in my membership. I am no longer Jewish. I'm a citizen of the universe. You think you could just stop being a Jew? Alex, you listen to me. I will not stand for this. If you go on this trip, you are cut off from this family. You are no longer my son. Do you hear me?
Alex left home. He turned his back on his father, his roots, and went looking for himself. India was booming during the 60s and 70s. Other young seekers flocked east here to be free of the status quo and the robotic rules imposed upon them by their parents of the West. It was a heady time. Yes, uh, and music played a crucial role in this, too. Alex had wandered across this mysterious continent from ashram to ashram, guru to guru. Finally, he meets Baba Sri. Baba Sri was a guru who told everyone that he was the reincarnation of a mystic from the 1400s of the same name. Baba Sri was Alex's teacher. And it was at this ashram that Alex met Sarah, his soulmate. Sarah was a young American woman with an amazingly similar story. It was love at first sight. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. This is crazy. Oh, come on, Alex. Can't you get up and say hi to your buddy who just ran into you in the middle of a jungle in India? No coincidences, dude. Family. Oh, oh <laughs> my God. Oh. 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 Sarah, <laughs> this hippie bum is one of my old friends from the neighborhood. Enchante. Namaste. <laughs> what have you been doing? Tried a couple other places, but someone handed me Baba Shri's book. Cut to the chase. Go right to the source. He is the source for sure. All right on. Hey, man, I'm sorry about your old man. What do you mean? He's dead. No one called you? No one knows where I am. I'm so sorry, man. You know your dad and I got along. When? When did he die? How? Heart attack. Uh, about three, no, four months ago. His heart was perfect. He never had any problems. 
Sometimes those are the worst attacks. No? Alex, there's nothing you could have done. I broke his heart. He's getting on in years, a little overweight. I broke his heart. It's okay, Alex. Let it out. He died alone. Just a passing of existence from one plane to another. With no one to say cut it from. Come. We'll meditate. Then we'll petition an audience with Baba Shri who will know what to do. I knew what I had to do and I didn't do it. You couldn't. Sarah's right. This is something to meditate on. Come on. You can get me into this. I want to go for a walk. I don't feel like meditating right now. It's OK. I'm OK. I'll be back. Thanks, Sammy. Sarah. Where did you go? You were so We concerned. need to talk. I got us an audience with Baba Sri. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I decided I have to go to Israel. Israel? Why would you want to go there? Because the truth is I haven't been feeling a connection here. In a long time. You're the reason I've been staying up. And I, I promised my dad that I would go to Israel. My heart is speaking to me. It's telling me I have to go. I can't explain it any other way. If you want to pray, there are synagogues all over India. No, I have to go to the wall. The last remnant of the first and second temples. I know what the wall is. Listen to me. Alex, you did not kill your father. I'm going to go in the morning. Will you come with me? I can't. I'm sorry. My family is here. This is my home. Baba Shri is my father. I thought we were soulmates. We were. But you're the one now going to pray in a place we used to make fun of. I guess we're not in alignment anymore. Maybe one day. So Alex Metzger traveled to Israel, that tiny charged patch of land that has commanded the attention of history for 4,000 years. Particularly Jerusalem, particularly the wall, or Kotel as it's called in Hebrew, the most sacred site in Israel. Shalom. Um, keep on. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Should it? Yes, thank you. Uh, in Hebrew? No, you read. You read. I know it. Please. I wish I could ask your forgiveness. 
I wish I could tell you how much I loved you. How much I regret all the pain I caused you. I never meant to hurt you, I was just trying to find my own way. I just wish I could tell you that. You meant everything to me. You want to write a settle, a, a, a note? Put your heart into the note. I promise your prayers will be answered. son Alex if you should ever come to Israel and somehow miraculously find this note this is what I want you to know I always loved you even when you hurt me and I will never stop loving you you are and always will be my beloved son and Alex please know that I forgive you for everything and only hope you will in turn Forgive a foolish old man. Now, Alex goes back to the States and begins studying for the rabbinate. And Alex's rabbi is married to a Rebetzin. Now this Rebetzin, very famous matchmaker. People come from all over to see her. And she's just told her husband that she's found the perfect mate for his star pupil, Alex Ryan. So they invite both of them over to meet during a Shabbat meal. Are you sure this is okay? You'll either like each other or we'll just have a nice Shabbat. No pressure. <gasps> this must be her. Now, she's like you, a recent Balchuva. She just returned to Judaism. It's cool. <laughs> Good job, Miss Sarah. Sarah. It was true, but hard to believe. Life can be stranger than fiction. Hmm. But we can all come up with many miracles in our own lives. If we think about them. Hmm. 50s. Mm -hmm. 